Okay. I'm trying to make room here because I didn't clean up last night after I played here. Oh. Well, I cleaned up a little bit, but not enough to make enough room. These are the leftovers. Let's see what I did with those. And, ooh, dear, what's this? Oh, more leftovers. All right, so I don't need the rug. And what else do I need? I don't need that. Oh, I do need some of my papers. In case I just, I don't know what I'm doing yet. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. Anybody home? <laughs> oh, Kathy's there. Kathy's there. Oh, dear. Let me see. I think I might put some of the circus stuff in with them. Because, you know, I was talking to Richard about Coney Island. And um, it was sort of like a circus, uh, a circus and a beach town. <laughs> He's like, yeah, they had a little bit of everything. Okay, well, that's this is gonna be Coney Island. Well, yeah, because they had the like the carnival and the, yeah, yeah. He said they had the you know the street vendors and the food and acrobats and different people doing stuff. Then you had the rides, you had animals. So it was a little bit of everything. So, so there. So let me see what I want to put inside. Kathy D, did you work today? Uh oh. Did it rain? Uh oh. Yeah, put some of these inside somehow. I haven't quite. Oh, and I gotta make sure I get some of the advertisements. Hey, Jean. Hey, Barbara et al. and Nicole. And <laughs> hello, hello. Jean with my favorite flower next to lavender. Uh oh. Oh, yes, you were. You were late last night. Hey, Cheryl. Cheryl, hi. I see you, Cheryl. I see you. I see you. I see you. Oh, I was hot and now I got now I'm cold. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh oh. I think because I'm like sitting down and I'm not doing stuff, so my body's cooling down. Oh yay! Jean is crafting along with you tonight, and yay. there and there is Miss um, Petticoat Junction. Lori loves Montana. <laughs> There's Sherry. Hey, Sherry. Hope this is a cicada-free stream. Me too. <laughs> yeah, they're all wrapped up. They're over on the table. If I hear any noises, I'll let you know. Because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> sometimes they have a mind of their own. <laughs> And I think I'll just tear some of these. Not sure what I'm going to use. I just figure I might as well be prepared and do something while I'm waiting for all the gals to show up. Unless you guys are it, that's okay too. <laughs> Yes, yeah, she would. Who? What? Nicole said Rosemary would make a homemade stamp out of them. Yeah. But you That's go. Nice. Is it going to a block? A block. Of wood? I, well, I couldn't do that. I'd have to make a mold because uh -oh. they. I mean, you look at them and they squish. Oh yeah. So I'd have to make some kind of a mold and then from that create the stamp. Or I could just remold them and. 
have a whole bunch of them that don't crack. I am going to make it, but I'm not making it now because mine just now got here today. Just hey, to hey, hey. No, it was not Sherry, and I was sitting there having to eat a BLT. <laughs> At least it was crunchy, right? <laughs> you were contributing some sound effects, right? Uh, I should <laughs> yeah. Is she gonna eco die? What? Huh? Eco die, bug. They're already eco. They're already eco colored. <laughs> Maybe um, boil them down to create a dye, though, right? Did you ever, and I don't think you did, so. Um, oh, what? Scan the bug stamps and put them in the group. Scan the bug stamps. Remember the pages where you stamped all the bugs on them? Oh. And some people wanted to color them. Oh. Yes. No, I didn't. Okay. Mm -mm. I forgot all about that. That seems like ancient times. When was that? It was like a month ago. Oh, ancient times for me. <laughs> My memory is about three hours. <laughs> it was longer than three hours ago. It's like, eh, don't remember that. <laughs> I'll trust you. Okay. So, what time is it? Oh, it's still early. I was going to say. I'll wait to see who else shows up. But I did go ahead. As I told you, I didn't want you to watch me glue in. I did put the paper on all of them. So it's been papered. Then I was trying to decide what I was going to do with the inside. If I was going to paper or what. I just I ended up, because the other one I did paper, I figured I'd do this one to make it a little bit different. So I painted this one. I like the black trim. Oh. And this is just um, some of that black cardstock you guys have. I just cut little strips. Oh. And I just kind of rolled it over a tiny bit just I to can. give it a little bit of uh, dimension. So I ripped them with this, and which, you know, isn't perfect. And then I rolled it a tiny bit. And I didn't put the glue all the way to the very end so that I could roll it after the the glue is dry some more so if you like that look that's what i did top and the bottom what did you say about a little bit of dementia <laughs> i have a lot of it <laughs> christina is still beating so she's gonna be lurking but she's saying hello everyone hey nancy hey beating wow how cool is that I think she hey, is Nancy. a jack of all trades. I think so. Oh, Back thank you, Kim. Cool, huh? So anyway, so you guys decide, you know, what you're going to do with the inside as far as the background. If you're going to put some paper, you're going to paint. Um, if you maybe you have some stamps with this motif and you're going to do that, you know, whatever you're going to do. Um, so you would do, you would, um, decorate your front and your back. So some of these pictures that I had, I just cut them out and glued them onto the front. Now you can really see here. This one was really bad because the background on this one was all dark. You could hardly see what the real picture was. So now you can see one of these little changing rooms. Is that a little pom-pom? little black pom-pom? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, so get the fronts and the backs done how you want. If you're going to do some kind of trim on the top or the bottom, do that because you need that down before you lay the fabric over them it'll look goofy at least in to my opinion it'll look goofy if you put the fabric and then you lay that black i prefer seeing that strip all the way to the top to the bottom but that's just me you may like it the other way so keep that in mind that once you put this fabric 
then whatever trim you put here is going to be sitting on top of your fabric. So keep all those things in mind. So I said, you kind of sort of have to lay the whole thing out visually before you actually start your gluing and everything. Jean said that she glued all four pieces onto the fabric. And Nicole, don't put stuff in chat that I can't touch. <laughs> uh, Vanessa, Kim said she wants to get her own place because she's been trying to make a circuit journal for two years. And her stuff's in storage. Oh. I know. Oh, wow. That's tough. How about if you create your workspace for your crafting inside your storage? <laughs> like the, you know, hang out there for a few hours and play. <laughs> hey, uh, Jan. Uh, hi, Jan. <laughs> Ba -na -na -na. Na -na. Na -na. <laughs> okay, so Jean did her gluing already. Fantastic. She put fabric on hers. Hey, Lucy. Good. That's cool. I like that. Hi, Lucy. Alrighty then. So, um, okay, so I'll show you how I did this. Obviously, you can do it any way you want. Hey, Kathy. But what I did with these strips, I cut an inch, all right? I did an inch, and then um, I took off some of the the um, threads that were fraying because I did want it to have that kind of, oh, you can't hardly see it. Oh, you can't see it at all. But anyway, I frayed both sides just because I like the way it looks. Oh, you can see it here better. You can see how that's frayed there. If I give you something black to look at, there you go. You can see it that way. So I I did them an inch before I did the frame, and then I did the frame. So, you know, whatever that ends up being, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. And then um, to give them this um, more of a vintage look, if you guys want to put them in some tea or some coffee or whatever, but I just kept it simple and use the distress ink so but you know you can use whatever works for you if you don't have this doesn't mean nothing just dip it in some tea or some coffee and you'll get the same look might even look better i just went the lazy route this is quicker <laughs> Then getting it all wet, having to hang it out to dry. So you could have put like huh? you could have put like on on one of them. So like where it's four pieces. Ah uh, yes. Yeah. So where where the two open ends meet, you could have just put a zipper there. I know, I know. I almost did it on the original one. Hey, Leslie. And then I thought, oh man, do I need another headache? <laughs> there were so many things that could go wrong. <laughs> I started imagining all the things that could go wrong with that zipper. And I go, oh, after all this trouble, I don't think so. So I just opted out. But it's a I like the idea of the visual, you know. Visually, I love the idea actually doing it mm. yeah because you'd have to have it be closed at one end and then you wouldn't be able to open your journal yeah exactly you'd have to yeah your journal would have to be loose in there somehow and then you just take it out i guess i don't know and so i just i um whatever i freed on top i just have that a little bit past right you know, that, that corner, that angle right there. And then I just went a little bit below this just so I can get a little more fraying action here. But if you like, you know, the cleaner look, well, then you can just chop it right on the ends. Heck no, I want to lower that fraying action too. Yeah, that's what I say. Man, those those ladies have very long legs, don't they? Yeah, they do. 
they do. Barbara said a zipper would be so cool. And it would. Nicole said a zipper would look fab. Well, I hope you guys do it and then figure out how you open it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could get that kind of zipper that's on a jacket, right? Oh, yeah. That connect. See? See, it could work. I just didn't have one. And I didn't want to spend the money on one and then give myself a headache. <laughs> yeah, like, like. We don't all have a million damn windbreakers in the closet. You know, I don't have any. I never buy stuff with a zipper like that. <sighs> it was like, I was thinking about that. And I go, wait a minute. I don't even have one to tear apart. I guess I could go to a, you know, a um, thrift store. Yeah, thrift store. I'm sure there's oodles. Anyway, so I just put some glue. Glue, 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 glue. And then if you, when you cut these, if you cut them that way, if you cut them right, oh, let me show you this way. If you cut these. Dang, Kathy, you know? Right on this line right here then it makes it kind of easy to line these up to glue. So if you cut it here, then you're going to sit this part right where the glue is. Um, I will demonstrate. <laughs> I will demonstrate. For you. So if you put that right there. And if you kind of like feel, you can feel the edge of this is right here where that begins and that helps you make the line straight I'm watching you make it all crooked now I'm trying to show off that looks like a piece of fabric bacon <laughs> it, does. it does oh dear now that you brown it up a little bit that's right a little toasty hey peggy hey, Miss make peggy. a phone call she will try to pop back in but she's popping in to say hi Okie dokie. Kim has a question. Yes, ma'am. Not to get into any political. Hang on. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we don't want to talk about that. Real bacon, veggie bacon, and fabric bacon. That's right. And turkey bacon. There we go. Peggy, do you have a phone in your new bathroom? Oh, no. She's in the toilet? No, but, you know, oh. she'll say, I, I took my phone with me to the, to brush my teeth before I go to bed so I don't have to get all Oh, yeah. yeah. My husband wants to come out with a new thing. He's going to call it Swipe and Wipe, and it's for people that take their phones into the bathroom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He goes, those people need to swipe and wipe. But he's talking about their phone. <laughs> so he's going to get a phone cleaner for the bathroom. <laughs> it's his latest invention. There you go. I hope he makes some money. Yeah. Oh, and I already gave the name away. Oh, sure. Before that chance to copyright it. Dang it. <laughs> Man. That's right. Nicole said that's genius. Okay, so now we do the same thing, only different. We'll line this right here, this line onto the edge here, and that will help us um, have a as much as a straight line as as net because remember we need that gap you need at least what's in between those two red lines it needs to be cardboard free so that it can do the flippy flop and make sure you got these lined up that's right Kathy says you have a lot of witnesses that's right there you go, chat and chat. 
but will they testify? Will they cross that Charmin line? That's right. They need it. And there you go, Barbara. They need to invent a bathroom door that will not open if your hands aren't clean. Yeah. Yeah. Just like a car should have a breathalyzer. If you're drunk, it won't start. I wonder what you would call that. Susan. <laughs> What would you call that? I don't what'd you say? Because I was reading these paragraphs in chat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'll put the second one now. And I mean the last one. And well, the last one's gonna connect these. So I've got to put a little bit of the distressed ink on there and don't forget to fray. Don't forget to fray. Yeah. Ah, my ear itches. Yeah, you need to do that before you leave the bathroom too. Hey, Suzanne. Okay. Distress ink. I have to have books in my bathroom. Oh, another product. I like to I like to keep the Uncle John's readers in the bathroom. Cause sometimes that's just a quiet place to go. You don't <laughs> Don't have to be chatting or chatting. You can just <laughs> sit there and read a book. Those are the best. I love the best what? The best books. Oh, Uncle John's bathroom readers. I'm like five of them. Just full of useless, trivial information. That's the story of my life. Yeah, well, there you go. Kathy said if you buy her lunch, she'll say whatever you tell her to. <laughs> you know, did you know Kathy's dollar store sucks? Yes, we're well aware of that. My Dollar Tree sucks. <laughs> we are so aware. <laughs> All right, so we'll put another little squirt over here. Well, Kim, then I guess you won't be one of those ones putting a bookcase in your shower. Hey, I have all my packing stuff in there. Hey, that's a good one. Jokes for the John. <laughs> Barbara got her book dad a book called book, Jokes for the John. Nicole says her Dollar Tree rocks. Well, maybe she should visit over there. Well, she's in Oregon. Well. Oh, we, Terry, I hope you have a big bathroom. She takes her iPad and all six kits. <laughs> wow I can just hear Kathy's voice in my head it really does suck <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give it a little accent uh, Suzanne says she has tea dyed ticking in red already tea dyed the heavier fabric well, wow, awesome. she's got a little bit of everything already. Yay. Her and Jim Moran go, man. are ready to go. Where's Annie Mae at? I don't know. She might think it's Tuesday. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I 
All right, so I will put another bead on here. Oh, we had some action in the alley. Oh. Our dogs told us a whole bunch of stuff this afternoon. They did what? Our dogs were informing us. They were tattletailing. Yay. Yeah. So we are, you know, obviously, you know, all of us know our dogs barks, what they mean. And so he was doing his, I don't know who the heck is back here, but you better come out here and check it out kind of bark, you know. So, <laughs> so there was this gentleman, I've never seen him before, but he was walking down the alley, like kind of, you know how when somebody is just short of running so it makes their body look stiff because they're going like this you know yeah he's going really fast down the alley like that so it really got sammy very upset <laughs> he goes this is not normal this is not normal <laughs> what's going on <laughs> i have no idea but i'm letting you guys know <laughs> this guy's a little weird <laughs> so anyway so he's so i go out there and i see the guy halfway you know, across our property, you know, behind our property in the alley. And he's just like, you know, and Sammy's like having a hissy fit. So meanwhile, um, my husband comes out because I came out from the studio. My husband comes out from the house and he goes, what's going on? So I point towards the guy and he goes, he rolls his eyes like, oh my gosh. And um, so anyway, so um, he gets to the end of the alley and he turns on the cross street. So my husband goes to the front of the house because the cross street, he would be going um, toward the front of our house, you know, going to, he was going down the alley between fifth and sixth. So he turns toward six. So that would be like in front of our house. So my husband goes out in front of the house so he could like see where he's going, what the guy's doing. So, um, so anyway, but he goes out there and he never sees him. Well, meanwhile, I'm still outside in the back and Sammy's like, oh, 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 oh. and then this car comes down the alley. I've seen that car before. It comes down the alley, toots the horn, sees the guy and the guy jumps in the car. And then the, the lady, it was lady driving, turns around and goes back down the alley. Meanwhile, my husband's still waiting for the guy to show up on 6th Street. <laughs> my husband comes and goes, he disappeared. I don't know where he went. I said, he got in a car, went down the alley. And he goes, oh. And he says, well, before that, because I did hear some commotion, but I didn't go out because I was in the middle of something. But like not even five minutes before that, two people in the front sidewalk was walking the same way the guy was the way my husband described it they were like just short of running they're going really fast down the sidewalk and i said i think these two people in the front and the one guy in the alley i think they escaped from somebody <laughs> because that car came and got that guy real fast <laughs> and then oh i was out there talking with my husband and then um, here comes that car again. It had gone around the block and went back and was going back down the alley, going down the same way I saw it before. And I said, there it is. <laughs> so we have no idea, but we always know what's going on because our dogs tell us. <laughs> come out, you guys. <clears throat> Kathy said, oh, Kathy, we're, oh, come on. Now her dog talks. I guess my mm. dog sucks too then. <laughs> dog talks and this one talks the least of all of them my real talkers poor little things they're no longer with us <laughs> oh my god sophie is a talker 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 so she talks to the cat she talks to yeah um we had a, a rhodesian ridgeback that dog was the one that spoke the most out of every dog we've ever had and she would she talked back at you yep. she was bossy with the other animals and was like sound yep. like she was cussing out the other animals oh. and um when we would tell her something she talked back to us if she didn't want to do what we were saying and and then she'd come and tattle on the other dogs and come and tell us if they were you know doing something they weren't supposed to and man she just never stopped 
it was so cute when we um because she came with us from hawaii and in hawaii um it's very rare to have thunder and lightning it just doesn't happen you get rain you get hurricanes but you don't get thunder and you don't get lightning so she had never heard it before and of course moving here <laughs> there was plenty of thunder and lightning and she would be afraid of it and um shortly after moving here is when we got junior and um so so um there was the thunder and the lightning and um and we were we had him come in but she was still kind of like um afraid and so junior went over to her i don't know what he told her <laughs> but but he's there whoa, 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 whoa. you know I mean, she was like kind of nervous and then she goes whoa, right back to him and then he's probably saying hey stupid <laughs> it's just the barometric pressure <laughs> Cold air, hot air meeting. It's no big deal. It's just go no get way. under daddy's de <laughs> under daddy's desk. And um, and they chit chatted for a while, and then um, um, Junior went over to the front door and sat at the front door watching the thunder and lightning. And um, Ginger, that was the uh, the um, of DJ Ridgeback, she goes over and sits next to him, and it was just like a little Disney movie. All they needed was a little spaghetti between the two of them, and they looked at each other. She batted her eyes at him. He went whoa, 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 like that. They sat there. They watched the thunder and the lightning, and she was never afraid again. So I have no idea what what went on between them, but he set her straight. And she never, she never was afraid again. Now the uh, bust, bust is still afraid. <laughs> Runs underneath. He he goes underneath Richard's desk. <laughs> Doesn't matter what Junior tell, told him. It did not work. But it was so cute. My husband, and I just looked at each like, oh my gosh. I think okay, so that's weird because you have no S's in your name, Romary Mori. <laughs> And none of your dogs have R's in their name. <laughs> you have Ginger and Busta. Yeah. That's right. Nicole said Sherman talks back too, and it's hilarious. Yeah, it's so cute when they talk back to you. Barbara said on YouTube, there's a woman who is telling her little bulldog that he is getting fat and is now on a diet. Man, did that dog tell her where to go and how to get there? I saw that. It, it's so cute. And, but she gives in and gives him Cheerios. Hey, Shanta. Hey, Lisa. My husband goes, why is, if that little dog's on a diet, why is she giving him Cheerios? That's the worst thing to give him. It's just, you know, more carbos. <laughs> Okay, but that was adorable. Okay, so I'm going to glue that right there. So these, this is going to be the end, right? Because we're going to fold it up like that. So on my original one, I think I cut these in half so that when they met, you know, it was like the size of one. But I kind of regret I did that. So I'm going to, I ended up putting a full piece and that way it can kind of overlap a little bit. And if I don't end up liking it, I can always rip it, you know. Pick some Velcro under there. Yeah. So. Oh, did I already cut that? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Lisa. I know. I looked up. Susan gets mad if I even look up. No, it's fine if you look up. You just don't have to read chat out loud, especially when you're asking who changed their drapes. Just stay out of chat when you don't belong there. <laughs> okay. I'll let you know when there is safe conversation in the chat, and it's not often. <laughs> <sighs> I didn't tell you you could read the chat. I didn't tell you you could read it. Get out of there! Like, holy moly! Who's my mom? <laughs> More like mommy dearest. 
you know, it's kind of like, you know, you, it, <laughs> you just got to be careful. You, you got to read stuff in your head first because you don't want to end up with a huge anus in, in your chat either. <laughs> uh, I don't want to end up with a what? <laughs> that guy that was in Laura's chat that day. Oh. His name was Hugh. Uh, oh, and his remember. last name was Janus. I remember that. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to put a shock uh, collar on you and zap you when you look up a chat. <laughs> okay. So it's that simple. Lady. The basic construction. If you thought that was simple, it's simple. If you didn't think it was simple, well, rethink it. <laughs> rethink it. So was it simple, Jane? <laughs> well, I don't know. She did the, the whole fabric. Yes, piece. she did. Yeah, she did the whole fabric. Only on the outside. Yeah. I don't know what she's going to do to the inside paint or, or fancy paper. Yeah. Yeah, if you're going to paint, make sure you paint before you do stuff that you're going to mess up with paint. Because I mean, put some kind of um, graffiti wallpaper up in there, like the bathroom walls. <laughs> okay. <coughs> and <coughs> these didn't have to go on now. I regret that I did because now when I'm like working on it, I can't lay it flat. So I would say if it works with the way you're decorating to put all of the little pom-poms on last, uh, yeah, think about that <laughs> because now, you know. No, Shanta, those are pieces of black cardstock that she cut and glued onto the top and the bottom. Yeah. Then she put a little pom pom. Yeah. Yeah. Jean said she put paper inside with strips of the ticking. Oh, neat. Yeah, Barbie. That Wright. sounds cool. Graffiti. Graffiti. What, what are you going to put? I'm going to put for a good time, call the Rusty Peacock <laughs> at BR549. <laughs> but it's okay. She won't read anything out loud. <laughs> I don't know yeah. if that awning would match this. I think that would clash. The awning on this? Yeah. Well, the, uh, these, I put too high to put an awning. Ah. Uh. Yeah, see, it would cover the whole face. Yeah. Oh, cool. Jean's making the circus book. Yay! And Shanta can't get to hers because it's in another state. All right. What we could do, I don't know how this would work. It probably won't work. There you go. And put Jamie's number on the wall. Oh, this one might look kind of cute. Okay, so if you gather these a little bit and put them all the way up on the top, that would look kind of cute, you guys. It is the tent top. I wonder if I should try it on there or not. I gotta put something on there first, though. I should have painted those too. No, I just put some paper. She's gotta decorate them first, Jean. Kathy said, "Oh, cute." That's that's K W Kathy. <laughs> not Kathy D. <sighs> okay, I gotta think about that. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What am I going to put on there? Or if I don't want to put those, um, these could go up on top. Man, get out of my head! As I was sitting here thinking about you, there's mud. <laughs> You were thinking about her. Yes, I I was just had a fleeting I, thought go through my brain and then there she is. Okay, I think I'm gonna try this. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm just gonna go ahead and glue these down. 
on this and then hope for the best. I'm not sure what I'll put on the back side. Oh, well, let me do that in case I decide to paint that. I'm just painting my, oh, I could even just leave it white and put something else on there. Oh, there you go. Oh, but they aren't all like that. Never mind. It's okay. Just talking to myself, crew. <laughs> I'm okay. Just putting glue down. I saw that. Trying not to sniff. Oh, come on. Gotta have a perk. <laughs> I probably should have tried to get the guy's face on there. <laughs> okay, I already made my first mistake. Did you oh, do well. that random? Huh? You did that in random. I know, I shouldn't have. Well, the way it is, it's hard to get a full anything. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going for the color. I guess I could do that right there, huh? Well, who Lollipoo is, but hey, Lollipoo. Okay, I don't, let me, let me hold have, this up so I can see what I'm putting it on. We may have to put Brooke in quarantine. Now what is she doing? That's what I was just thinking about. Rent a dog's mom tested positive for COVID. Who did? Her her renter. Oh. So now what? Now she, she needs to go to Cancun and quarantine for two <laughs> weeks. Rent a dog's mom better go find a little hourly hotel for two weeks and come back when she's negative that's right is she gonna leave the dog with you i think brooke likes the dog that's why i was wondering Um, yeah, there's, there's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, the way this is situated, I can't get any cute stuff. Oh man. Yeah, because of the weird shape. Yeah, it cuts everything off. Man. Yeah, that's what I'd say. Not dog sitter. Huh? She said, hell no, not a dog sitter. <gasps> I thought you liked him. <clears throat> You've been faking it the whole time. So did you kick her out? Are you waiting for her to do the right thing? Well, let's see. She's been in that house for how how long now? Yeah, I don't think so. There's a little hotel called Shady Rest at the Junction. Let it go. <laughs> Those girls were real floozies, huh? Yeah, they were. And there's a video on YouTube, and it shows it shows them all old now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. They're still alive? Well, they were when this video was made. Well. Well, old Uncle Joe, he he's not even moving slow anymore. He's. Yeah. He's gone. 
Yeah. He's at a dead halt. <laughs> no pun. Oh, Barbara saw that video. Are they alive, Barbara? Oh, good for you, Brooke. She kicked her out till she tests negative. There you go. Did you test the dog? <laughs> Oh, Shanta said she's trying to get her daughter to go with her to a cool cemetery in Philadelphia to take statue pictures, but she's afraid of ghosts. During the day? What do you think? Ghosts sleep during the day? Of course. No. Oh, okay. Heck no. Well, they do. They sleep in, in the local hotels. <laughs> So Shanta, tell her he's going to get out of the hotel if they're at the hotel during the day. <laughs> exactly. You better clear out. If it'll ever stop raining, I'm going over here to the cemetery. We're still waiting for it to stop. I, I don't know, Brooke. You might want to Google that because I've heard yes and I've heard no. What? The dogs can get COVID. Yeah, I've heard both also. But I don't know if it's true or not. There's a lot of stuff that's not true out there. But I knew my dog was not hanging out with other COVID dogs, so I didn't worry. <laughs> Why make my dogs wear masks when they go out? <laughs> Because my dog would have gone, COVID, COVID. <laughs> if something down the alley was going down. <laughs> Bitch, you had your shot? He start coughing. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> Alert down the alley. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, so Shanta's inquiring. Rosemary, you're putting clowns on your bath cabana? So, tell her the story that Richard told you about Coney Island. That's right. Coney Island, which is filled with these little changing things, has everything that a circus has. So I said, okay, that's all I needed to hear. <laughs> they had they had everything there on the side. I mean, it was like a one-stop shop place. <laughs> So Jean said, dogs and cats, it's true. Her, the vet told them they thought their cat had COVID. Well, Brooke, you supplied half of the U.S. with COVID mask. You couldn't make one for the dog? <laughs> oh, my God, Nicole. <laughs> Nicole said, Rosemary, are those your scissors or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> You be the judge. <laughs> you almost poked Peggy's eye out last night with him. <laughs> Under the boardwalk. By the sea. Mm -mm. <laughs> so I guess mine is an ode to Coney Island. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I went looking through my book. Um, um, well, let me backtrack. I have a souvenir book from the hotel where we were married. And so last night I was looking. I probably should have brought it over here, but I'm looking over it next door. And um, it's got some really cool pictures. And some of the pictures shows it from, I guess it was 1900. Nine, ten, or nineteen ten, something like that. 
And it showed all the cabanas lined up on the side of this hotel there on the beach. I thought, oh, how cool. So I started looking for some more of the vintage pictures of that area. And uh, so I think I'm going to do one of these um, just kind of like almost just exclusively for the hotel during that period of time. This, I found some really cool pictures. Yeah, there there are some cool pictures because I when I went and Googled it, I was like, good Lord. Oh, yeah, some beautiful pictures. So I'm going to. Um, I, so I, I started saving some of them. So I'm going to print a few of those out. I still I don't believe we got married there. That turned out cute with the with the clown in the corner with the balloons. Yeah, but how did I manage to get two? Oh. <laughs> oh, but from a different angle. See, I've got yeah, I got the strong man there and half of the half of Magician. the magician. Yeah. Half the bunny. And the elephant. Yeah. So oh dear, I got three. Oh, man, you should have oh. you should have got the one with the Ferris wheel on it. I could no matter what I did because that couldn't go like that, then it'd be upside down. <sighs> yeah, I tried. I, it just it wasn't working. It wasn't working for me. Dang, Brooke, that was low. That was a low blow. <laughs> Okay, so that one's glued down pretty good. Just trying to get all the little edges because you know I never get the edges good. Most of us don't. Especially those little pointy edges. There you go. Shanta said take those big old scissors and fussy cut the Ferris wheel and glue it on. Okay. Hey Tamar. Well, there's an idea. That might be a cool idea. Hi, Tamar. That might work. Okay. If it's and, not so thin, you can see through it. I have to double check that. Kathy D, you need to tell, is it Dina? Dana. Dana. Tell Dana, thank you for the pictures. I got them today. And everything is all fussy cut already. <laughs> she loves doing that. Oh my gosh, I hate the fuzzy cut. She loves, and she gets into a zone, and you could talk to her, and she doesn't hear a word you're saying to her. She's just happy, 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 doing her thing. Like you. Well, I do hear you. I just pretend I don't. Uh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> there's, there's that. <laughs> you, don't, you need to get your husband to set you up a, a little thing like. Like with your sewing machine, you know, the foot pedal? Yeah. <laughs> so so you can, like, hit it and mute me when I... <laughs> and you can just click it and unmute me. <laughs> um, that way no one's the wiser, right? Let's see. I don't think this is going to work because there's no way I'm going to fussy cut this the way it should be. Let's see if the not-so-fussy fussy cutting works. Maybe yes, maybe no. Because I do not like fussy cutting. No. Betty used to till her hands decided, oh, uh -uh, we don't like to do this. Okay, we could cover up this clown. Let's cover up this clown. Have a good night, Brooke. Wear your mask. Does it look like it belongs there or not? I don't know. Kind of, sort of. Yeah. yeah, let me see the little circus tent. See where I can put that without the flag. There's no way you can cut that flag out. And I 
put it over his face. <laughs> Why do you want to do that? <laughs> it'll just let you know, it's all black and white. You're not you're not even gonna notice what's there. You only notice him because he's so prominent. Could have put it under the elephant's tail. Huh? But then I wouldn't be covering up the clown. Oh, you want to cover up the clown. Yes, I don't need three clowns. I barely don't even want one. Yeah, I got kind of <sighs> that broke, but I was going to let it slide. She said, too much excitement for me. Going to head out. Thank you. <laughs> and she said, no, that sounded wrong. I meant too much excitement with the COVID and all. <laughs> Uh-oh, Jan said she's watching Alabama girls softball beating Arizona on TV 5-0. to zero. Roll Tide. <laughs> that's gonna bring scotty out of the woodwork you start hollering roll tide oh dear oh look at barbara she says she's going to have a piece of wawa melman because she's <laughs> baba wawa <laughs> i guess she can name my dog my next dog hey any man we've been looking for you for um let's see how long for half a minute 56 minutes and 28 seconds. Oh. I wasn't looking for her until you mentioned she was, wasn't was here. Well. I could have pretended. That's true. That's very true. Let's see who else we can conjure up. Linda yeah. Morell. <laughs> hey. Miss Ruth. Oh, look! I put the magician there. I might have to cut the bunny's ears off, though. And um, it looks like he's got the clown's feet. Look. <laughs> it's got his feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I put it higher, he has more leg room. <laughs> kind of looks like Captain Kangaroo there. <laughs> I think I'll put it because it looks stupid. Oh, my eyes are watering. Hold on. I can't touch my eyes because I got glue and everything else on there. That's the best thing whenever <laughs> there's like hidden things. Yeah, like the joke. Can anyone yeah. find the joke? Yeah. Oh, oh dear. Hold on. Nicole said, "Do it. Do it." <laughs> oh, I gotta wipe my eyes first. Oh dear. Okay, so we're gonna put the Ferris wheel over his head. Well, it sounds like your allergies are better. Yeah. Good. All the rain came and washed away all the ragweed. I guess, but it's making everything explode. Well, when I get my really bad allergy, it's when my, um, uh, we have privets. What? The plant is called privet. Oh. And in the springtime, it's an evergreen, but in the springtime, it has oodles. And I mean, oodles of blossoms for about a month. And That's that's what gets to me is that when that thing blooms, oh my gosh. Okay, you used the big word, so that's gonna bring Janice Glines in. Oh, she's gonna correct me? No, okay. she's gonna she's gonna tell me what a privet is. Oh <laughs> <laughs> well, it might be hard for her to tell you what it what I have because there's oodles of kinds of privets. So I've never even heard of it unless I've been Unless I pronounce it wrong. You know what a boxwood looks like? Because yeah. It looks a lot like an overgrown boxwood is what it looks like. A privet. Looks. I probably call it a private. <laughs> <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. What do you call your boxwood? A privet. <laughs> I really like that that deep reddish 
paint job you did on the inside. Oh, it's my favorite color. Jan said red. it's a horrid hedge that grows and grows and grows, and she hates it. Yeah, most people do. I like mine because um, I trained them into trees, so I don't have to like. I don't have to mess pruning them and shaping them. And I didn't, I didn't um, plant them to be a hedge because I read how fast they grow and how tall they can get. So I said, well, why is everybody chopping these things down? Let them be a tree. So Hold that's that mine are. Can see it. Hold it up. What? The little dude with the clown feet. I, wait, let me finish gluing them down. Jeez Louise. Okay, there he is. See, look at his feet. What are you going to do with that thing sticking out of the side of your... Brain? I'm going to have to cut the bunny ears off. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Yeah. It's okay. You'll be busy looking at the, the guy over here in his underwear. <sighs> that came out kind of cute. And then the other one, I put the Ferris wheel over his face. And now I'm going to put the big tent over his face. <laughs> Aww. We will be. It's a clown free zone, Elaine. You can we will count be, now. Yeah, no more. He's gone. Unless the feet bother you. That's all you can see now. You just like to glue. You people have your glue fetishes. Gotta glue, gotta glue, gotta glue. I don't glue that much except with you guys. Really? Otherwise, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't worked in a glue book. I can't remember the last time I worked in a glue book was when I worked with it with you guys. So, you know, that was a long time already. It's probably been a year. All right. So we are all set with this. So now, while that's drying, I have to figure out. Whoops, I got to cut that. We have to figure out what I'm going to do with the inside. I think I'm just going to put paper because it's too late to paint now because I'll make a big mess if I decide to do any painting so we'll put some other paper back here so why does some some of them look brighter than the others that i was i don't know i think it it i think the whole um picture was to was meant to look you know old so okay. it had that little variegation of that because you can see here how on the end here it's dark and then over here it's lighter so it's just the way ah! clown. Okay. So <laughs> run away, run away, run away. Okay. So I think I'll put a little bit of this on the edge. Yes, then ribbon. Jean needs to know how to to put the top one. She, she getting there, Jean. She got to decorate it. I'm not going to tell you before I do it. We're getting to it. Apparently, your your points or your nibs have to be decorated before you put the top one. Yeah, no doubt, Barbara. I was just thinking about that. If, if Nicole ever had an industrial accident and lost her index finger, she would ask them if they could replace it with a refillable glue stick <laughs> cylinder. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't need a prosthesis. Can you just give me a refillable glue tube there for my finger, please? <laughs> oh my gosh! It is eight oh five. It is bedtime. For who? Bonzo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bedtime for Bonzo. I've got to get a new personal laptop because my work one, if I don't reach over here and touch it, then every 10 minutes it shuts off. 
Oh, you can't redo. Re re no. Oh, I'm, you have to have administrative rights. Uh, they control everything. Uh, uh, spooky. That's right. Inspector glue stick. <laughs> okay. So now... I think I'll put what? I'll put I'll put that um that diamondy shape thing. Where's that? Where? Oh, here it is. Oh, the colorful one. Bam. Do that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that. Or should I make it go the other way? Ooh, no. That's a little too freaky. <laughs> it's a little too freaky. Well, I got something coming in the mail. I guess it's going to be... Oh, dear. I've got... Oh, man. You know, when it comes to caboodle kits, this year is going fast. <laughs> because... I was just, you know, complaining. Oh, what am I going to do this year? It's already June. So I've got, okay, we got the travel one. I've already got the stuff for the travel one. I already have one for the um, continent of Africa. I got that one. So that's, that's already July, August. All right. I've got... Um, <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> Susan? <laughs> Did you just do that? Because <laughs> they all came from you. Uh-oh. Hold on, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Are you not in? Okay. She's Thank in. You. Thank you. You're welcome. See, that's what happens when you tell me not to read. I don't know what the heck's going on. <laughs> I know. That's what I said. Now she won't read check. <laughs> you told me not to. I don't want to get in trouble. That's why I pinged you to death over there. I guess I go, what the heck? I thought, man, her computer is really getting crazy. <laughs> <laughs> see, I can't do anything right. Yeah, see, so see, and that just falls, it all, comes, sends it all back to that swipe and wipe because the other morning I accidentally <laughs> dialed one of my my factory workers <gasps> in at, the potty at 3 45 in the morning when i went for my first pee <gasps> and i <laughs> and did they answer he said well i don't i think i saw it and i turned it off and he sent me a text and he said everything okay have fun i said yeah sorry but uh <laughs> Like, OMG, please tell me that they did not hear. Because, you know, the first time in the morning, it's <laughs> Alabama won five to one. Yay. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I was embarrassed. Edge. Do you hear that? What? Like what? Jean, Jean um, tapping her fingers on the table. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jean. She's like, you told me to be prepared, and now I just need you to put the daggum top on there. <laughs> Dang, Jen, you graduated from Alabama twice. Does that mean she like? flunked out or what and she had to go back 
Maybe she got a dual degree. Oh, she got one of the double whammies? Could be. So she's one of those smart ones in the chat, but she just lays low? I think so. Knows all the answers, but she doesn't tell us. There's a lot of people in here. Uh, speaking of knowing all the answers, where is Jane? I don't know. Huh. Well, we know where, well, if they're not here and they're always here, then you know they're watching somebody else. They're being naughty. Oh, yep. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's okay. We can handle it. That's right. Plenty of YouTube for everyone. Yep. I know you'll be back. Catch on the replay. Hey, Jane. That's right. Hey, Linda. Linda was having a time with her washer and dryer being installed last night, so she might be dealing with that. Uh oh. Not everybody wants to watch me glue. Kathy <laughs> said, There is no one else on. That's why we're all here. I beg your pardon. Thanks <laughs> for nothing. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see who your competition is. That's like when the husband says, Well, I married you, didn't I? <laughs> <sighs> Wrong. <laughs> Wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I see. Oh, Hags Hollow's having a sale. Oh, I I told you I miss that all the time. Beth Schuler oh. doing her her thing. I yeah, I might have to go over there. <laughs> I like her. Like I don't know what she calls them. I call them her oops papers. I love her oops papers. All right, I'm gonna tell her. Go see it. Go see if she's selling her oops papers. Just tell her I'm very upset. I want some. <laughs> she knows I like her oops papers. Let's see who's over there. That's not, that's usually here. <laughs> um, Darla. See, that's okay. That's okay. Candy Feinberg, but I hadn't seen her in a long time. Oh, and that's where Lisa Jameson went. <laughs> got quiet. I see. I know my people, and it's okay. I'd be there too if I was. How many seats? Doing the live. <laughs> How many cheat sheets? Oop sheets. Do you want? How many and whatever. Just, just, and then just tell her, and then yeah, just grab them and um, and then let her know that I'm buying them. She's not selling them there, but she does have some. So I said, she said whatever. Just send her a bill. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Okay, I'm okay now. Yep. I feel better. Okay, Say, tell Lisa, hey. <laughs> tell her I say hey. <laughs> Hang on. Darn. Rosemary said hey. <laughs> I sent Jersey to the loo, I guess. <laughs> all right, that's about all I see. Okay. Okay. That's okay. I don't care who's over there. I just want to get my paper. <laughs> the oops papers. All right. Took care of business. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ooh, this is all oh, look, cool. oh, look at G look at Lisa. Oh no, I'm still here. <laughs> Lisa, don't be lying. Because I'd be over there too. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> um, 
What did I miss? Uh, let's see. Kathy said, uh, just kidding. I'm watching like a peeper to see how to make this. <laughs> and Jan got her BS and master's from Alabama, then BS and master's from University of Alabama, Birmingham in nursing. Wow. She's smarter than the doctor. And Shanta said, who is that? I'm not sure. Oh, know. we were sneaking up on um, Amy Hag Hollow. There's Jean. We know you're there, girl. You're tapping your finger, so she'll put the top on this thing. Yeah, just wait, Jean. We're almost there. I just got to get the little go goobers that aren't down here. Look at that. I brought and, Jane. And we're off. And we are off to the races. We were fixing to come hunting for you, too, Jane. <laughs> Lisa's watching two screens. Hey, if I could, I would. Oh, Annie Mae must be going over to Hags Hollow because she said she'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, but you said she's not selling nothing right now, right? No, she's selling she's selling stuff, but she didn't have the oops. Oops. Oh, out okay. there. oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not into regular stuff. Yes, Jane, we were wondering where you were, so we said hello to you in case you caught the replay. <laughs> Whoa. Not hog hollow, Amy. I mean, Mame. That's right, Kathy. That says she needs to stop buying paper and get off her butt and make her own. Who she talks to, me? No, she's just making a statement. Oh, I thought she was saying I need to make my own paper. No. I do, but just not that kind. She does. We knew you were still here, Christina. We know you're over there beading. <laughs> I can't wait to start making some um some recycled paper because I got plenty to recycle. Let me tell you. My husband's making me a table. There's like three projects I needed a table for outside. So it's done. I just need to put some kind of a sealer or paint it or do something to it because it's just going to stay outside in the elements. So, so are you just going to like maybe like crush up those 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 bug bodies for like some kind of potion? No, 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 no. I'm not a potion person. <laughs> no, I don't have to align anything. I'm just I'm fine. Maybe you could trade them to Hags Hollow for your. Oops, paper. Hey, there's a thought. Send her a bag of bug uniforms or something. I've got to research it because, you know, a lot of bugs, um, they let out some pretty cool colors. When you boil them, I might get some cool colors out of them, like cicada ink or something, you know? What was that dude that said you gotta put the lotion on the skin to keep it supple? <laughs> you know the dude that 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 took the, the women's skin off and made the what was that? Song? Oh, Silence of the Lambs. Oh, oh gosh, that oh. was that has got to be the creepiest anything ever. All right, so Christina finished one earring, and we're at one hour eighteen minutes. 57 seconds. Wow. How much do you charge for those? You must charge a pretty penny. Whoops. Yes. Got to put the lotion on it. Oh, that's Nicole's favorite movie of all time. Ooh. Oh, Clarice. <laughs> Ooh. I'm sorry, but that kind of weirdness scares me more than any monster movie or clown movie. Or that's like there was that movie with, what was his name? Rutger. I don't know his name, but it was called The Hitcher. Never heard of it. This man was hitchhiking and he kept showing up on this damn dark road and he'd show up again and, he'd show, and that movie never stopped and it was like I think I'm just going to have a heart attack because <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
No, the hitcher. Yes. Uh oh, go get Mango some treats, Jan. Have a good evening. Who's leaving? Jan Terry. Good night, Jan. Thank you for coming. Yep. Okay. Believe it or not. You're ready to put the top on. Jean. <laughs> Where is she? Did she leave already? <laughs> Look at your dauber. Huh? Look at your dauber. What about it? It's just like almost in pieces. Oh, I know that. Yeah. See, Nicole said, Rosemary, who ate half of your inking sponge? <laughs> See, I don't know why people use these because to me they're such a mess. You only get a little bit of use out of it and they all start falling apart. Oh my God. Do you see what Lisa said? Amy yeah. dyed 1,800 court papers blue. <gasps> oh my gosh. She needs a show. Well, maybe no, I shouldn't say that. She might have a special process. But if she does it just like people do their coffee stuff, she needs to show how much work, is, you know, she puts into all that someday. Oh, okay. So now I have to decide. Do I want the hey, Debbie Epps? How are you? Hey, Debbie. Over right. here, 1,800. Oh, huh? she died 1,800 court papers blue not 1800 oh i bet you she did those same ones i did they come out beautiful are those medium mail documents <laughs> hey what happened oh it's the wrong way um i think i have one left because i got a lot of orders let me show you which one i'm talking about it's gorgeous it's gonna be what i'm gonna do this weekend actually ah there you go school's out for the summer so debbie epps is up past eight o'clock. This is from, I forget what year this is from. Maybe this is an 18. I don't know. I don't remember what year it's from. It might be newer. Uh, does it have a date on it? It can't be 18 because it's typewritten. So I don't remember when these are from. But look how beautiful. The paper just, it just, I just love what the paper does. So I did a whole bunch of those. This is the last one I have. And so I'm going to do some more um, this weekend because I just think they came out so pretty. And I have a bunch that I can, that I can still do. So that'll be fun. Okay. So decision time. Okay. We need to decide if if that's going to go this way or if it's going to go this way. I think I kind of like it this way because this is like way too loud. Yeah, way loud. too loud. This makes it more vintage, and this it can if it, this is already loud, so it can just be double loud, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now what you really need to be careful for all this folding to work. If you know, like when you cut out the pattern, it was just off a little bit. Um, make sure that this is not bigger than your panel. Because then it's going to buckle up and you're going to have a problem. So line them up. Make sure they're still within this size. And I would even like this one, I would cut this one a tiny bit. Because it's, it's almost exactly. And I would rather go. Um, Good night, Christina. With a little short than a little big. Because you are asking for problems. Trust me. How do I know? <laughs> yeah. I know. Okay. So.
so okay so that's inside you can see a little bit of the red on either side so that one's good and so that you don't get them all mixed up let's just do one at a time because you might put the wrong one with the wrong one okay so now we're going to get if you're gonna whatever you're gonna use whether you're gonna use this or you're gonna use the canvas get yourself a little piece let me show you here what we're going to be doing before we do it. Okay. All right. So right now, this is sitting right here, right? So it's right there. You can see how far down. I put it down right at this angle. Okay, so that's where this is going to go, at that angle. So don't put it up here. It doesn't go. It doesn't go flush at the top. It goes with this angle right here. So don't go over that. And make sure you're not over the size of the panel. So if you look at the fabric now, we're going to get a piece of fabric. And the piece of fabric. Let me just show you with a small piece right now. The piece of fabric is going to go here. We're going to glue it on here. Then we're going to flip it over and we're going to glue this back side to here, which is that right there. Okay, It's real simple. It's just that you have to be careful about keeping in the parameters or else you're going to have problems when it comes to the movement of all this stuff. That's the most important thing. So size those up, make sure, and then cut your strips the length of this all right and how how big did you do them rosemary i don't remember let me measure let me measure i think we were an inch also hold on a second where's my yeah they're just shy of an inch so just say an inch All right, let me get some pieces, some pieces, parts. It doesn't have to be all the way to the end if you don't want it. But just to be safe, just just to, to show you guys, I'll go from end to end. But I don't I don't feel it's totally necessary. So you got J Jane and Nicole out there saying diamonds on the outside. Huh? Oh. Yeah. yeah. I overruled you guys. Sorry. Aren't you supposed to be sleeping, Kathy? <laughs> I didn't know there was a series. You've been, <laughs> you've been overruled. <laughs> well, Jane says she likes loud. Well, well, she'll like the inside a lot. Then. Well, so, <laughs> so your little tent looks like business on the outside and party on the inside. Well, that, that could be true on Coney Island for sure. It's not what it looks like until you get inside. <laughs> okay, another one. They would clash, huh? Who would? He said, what about every other one? I said, they would clash, huh? Yeah, it's too bright. I mean, if they were, if they were both kind of subdued, or they were both bright, but yeah, I was gonna say it looked too much like a circus. <laughs> right before it came out of my mouth, I go, okay, that's absurd. <laughs> Kathy said, 
Now she is up, sick to her stomach, sucking Italian eyes and watching how to learn how to put her kit together, which she will never be able to make this. What? Who said that? Kathy's world. Oh, please. You can do this with your eyes shut. It's all just a bunch of gluing. You could do it. You can do it. That's the right size, yeah. I wish I could find like eternal helium. For what? Your voice? So when you opened mine, a little red balloon would float up in the air. Oh. And then you put it back in. And then when you open it, the little red balloon floats up in the air. That's what? not all. <laughs> yeah, it is. No. Hey, Deneva, that's from it. Oh, see, I don't see. I don't watch those things. Yeah. Ugh. And you can't handle a little movie with a hitchhiker? Or is it eyes wide open or eyes wide shut? <laughs> All right. So just so I don't confuse myself, because you know I, ease, I, I do that very easily. I need to have one here to look at. <laughs> uh, Deneva's here. Hey, Deneva, how you doing, girl? Okay, so I need to antique these a little bit. So let me put some of that on there. So yes. Kathy said she's putting all her kits in a box that she has bought, and that is her priority now, to make them all. But she keeps finding more and more as she cleans. <laughs> <laughs> Betty's got a box like that. Yeah, don't remind Betty. Yeah, I think it's eyes wide shut. You know what you guys should do? If Brooke ever has her retreat, it would save all of you guys money and her a lot of work if everyone just took their kits to Brooks. And over however many days you're going to be there, you may, you finish them. You just put my videos on <laughs> and make all your kits. There you go. Rosemary is going to commandeer your retreat. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to be there, but no, it'll but save everybody money. But we'll be watching your videos doing your kits. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. They're very educational. Dania said she's tired, but okay. Nicole said hi, Betty. She said hello. Okay. Now, what I'm noticing here. Shanta uh, wants you to bring some back some old kits so she can get them. Oh, I don't have this. That's the whole thing. I mean, when it's gone, it's gone. Because a lot of the stuff was original old stuff. And, you know, they're gone. Jean they're said gone. hey. Hmm? Jean said hey. Hey. Not to you. <laughs> Little did I know. Okay. Let me see. Oh, do I? Oh, good. Because so I'm running out of the. Good glue. Did Brooke agree to buy the book? What book? I don't know. Oh, I know what she's talking about. She's talking about the uh, the big humongous one that um, that Johnny made. Oh. To yeah, make for so. um, whoops, That's I got to do both sides. Okay, don't forget, people. Yeah, if you're gonna age this, you got to do both sides because the back of one shows and the front of the other one shows. So. Okay, back to the drawing board. Back to the aging board. So if you just threw them in some kind of liquid, you're already ahead because you obviously got both sides done already. How many pieces do we need for each triangle? Two? A front and a back. A front, right. and, a a front and a back of what? Triangle. Well, that isn't even a triangle, though. Yeah, it is a triangle. Is it? I don't know. 
What are you asking me? Jane, uh, Jean said, how many pieces do we need for each triangle? Two? No, you need one because you're going to glue it and then flip it and then glue it to the inside, right? I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not going to answer because I don't know. I don't know. Here is the triangle. The top that's showing from the outside has one kind of paper. And when you open it up, it's going to have, if you choose, will have a different kind of paper. So if that answers your question, I'm happy. If not, ask it again. <laughs> so maybe, yeah, there you go, Debbie. Do you mean one hinge or two hinges, Jean? Oh, maybe he, that's what she's asking. Yeah. Each one has one. Thank We're you gonna for paying attention, Debbie. Oh, yeah, striped fabric. It's going to be one. It's one piece, yeah, one piece. All the way across. Yeah. Mm, no, it's not one piece. Of it. Huh? I don't know what that means. I'm not going to answer. I'm not allowed to read, so I don't yeah, know. It's one piece of, of ticking across the bottom of the triangle. Yes. With part of it glued on the inside and then you flip it and glue the other side on the book she's going to show which you we're going to do right now all right everybody watch real close <laughs> so you can either fold this to you know figure out where the um center is or if you can just visualize uh, whatever is easier for you guys so you're going to put it just to the outside of the center just like we did that with this, because this this is like a one giant hinge, and now we're creating another hinge. So there's got to be room for it to be able to move up and down. You're not going to want to have. Whoa! What the hell? I don't know. Um, you're not going to want this all tight and close to each other because then it's not going to move. It won't go anywhere. So keep that in mind when you're putting this that when you visualize the center have it a little off center so that you, you're leaving a little bit of a gap in here for when you fold it okay i hope that makes sense so I have to double double check myself because I don't know how many times I did it backwards, you guys, when I was making this. So I got to double check. I don't want to send you down that same path I went down several times. <laughs> am I doing this right? Yeah, I think I am. I am not asking her that because she can reach me from there. Okay. I'm using the line. And then this other one, I'm going to glue up to over here. So I'm using the line to know where I'm going to put it. All right. Okay. So you glue the fabric on the side that will be pointing out. Correct, Amundo. Okay. Oops. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. And now what we're going to do. Is we're going to put now the glue on the front side, but it's going to be glued down here. So it's going to go like this. See? And make sure that the end of, of uh, your fabric lines up with this, with this angle right there. See how, see how it matches up with the angle here? And that's what we're going to try to do. doesn't have to be exact. It doesn't have to be perfect. But that needs to be kind of like your visual goal of where you want to position this. It'll work if it's off a little bit. But it won't work if you put the glue too close. And then it'll be too flippy floppy if you put it too far away. So it's, uh, it's kind of you may, you may want to just get two pieces, uh, I mean, a piece of fabric and a piece of cardboard and kind of do it somewhere else. So you know how close to get it or how far away to get it to make this still movable, but not floppy and not tight. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And why is it so far down? What is so far down? You glued it so far down from the top. 
because hmm. so your triangle you told us to bring it down to here yeah how come so far down because of all the angles involved if you don't if you had just squares and squares and up there's no movement it's all it's all um, it's, for, it's all mechanical yeah. it won't work unless you do that it's not going to rise up they're not going to be able to meet you're not going to be able to close it just do it <laughs> just do it just do it just do it i'm gonna put this way so i can be closer everybody's doing it that's right that's right nicole it won't close won't close. And so it'll make a pointy tip top. You need to have a nib at the top. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right. So you can either figure out where this is going to go. You could even draw a line if you want because it's going to get covered up. And then put your glue, ooh, glue on there wow. or just wing it and put your glue on here. Ooh, don't do that because I just got glue all over the place. But fortunately, I can clean it up. Kathy, she might can reach you too. Now what? Oh, I messed that up. Jack, I'm with you. And you see that clown dude? He's just like, um, can we get, can we get go? Can y'all just let her do this? Yeah. Can we be done with that? And let's hope I've got it in the right place. After trying to control all you guys. How low can you go? Now, the thing about this is, honestly, you're not going to know if you made a mistake until you get it all done. Because when you open it up and line it up, then you'll know, like, oh, dear, I forgot to cut this inside of the panel and now you know what i'm saying so be ready to make your second one really quick <laughs> what fabric is still movable <laughs> so okay so you get the idea right and so what you've just now created is this we did a different shape if you guys remember now when i did it I did it this way, and then I revised the shape so it can meet. These don't meet. This ends up looking like a French Tudor house instead of a, yeah, you know what I mean. Tudor. Huh? Tudor. 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 Okay. So, all right. Let's 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 move on. Let's keep going. We have the technology, you guys. Let's just keep going. Any questions so far? Clear as mud, you guys? Clear as mud. <laughs> um, Kathy said, I really need to know how this works because she has to explain it to Dana. Well, All you have to do is let her see the video. I have to say, does she have... You don't have to explain anything to her. I know she has a phone. I know she has a TV. All right, Jean, how's it going over there? She's like, I can't talk. I have to hurry and glue these real fast. <laughs> <laughs> Cat popo. <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> Sorry, I looked up. I'm going to get in trouble. Quit getting me into trouble. As long as you don't read it out loud until you process it in your <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh oh jane sh me <laughs> oh, did jean jane said yeah. <laughs> jean say shh okay <laughs> so i'm putting this up we'll check the lines in the back to get it halfway straight See, I was the one who talked all during class, but got A's. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I always had on my report card. I had straight A's and a U in conduct. Talks too much. 
<laughs> and did you? Not in my opinion, but. Well, yours didn't count. You weren't the teacher. Why don't you, you know, give me something a little challenging here. I know I have been doing that because I've got my computer sitting so far down my. And then my eyes are crossing. I know. That's right, Debbie. Everybody around me fell because I was too busy chatting and telling them all the stories my daddy was always telling me. <laughs> Oh, well, that's why you got in trouble. Yeah. Not everybody can chit chat and get good grades like you were. It's like, really? We got to discuss this? You made us read this crap last night at home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you've got all of those at least glued okay let them dry a little bit i just went fast on that so you guys could see it because the people were getting restless <laughs> talking about you <laughs> the people were getting restless talking about you gene <laughs> All right, so now we're going to put some glue on the front. Don't forget, I made the snake many, 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 many times and put it on the wrong spot. Oh, no. Yeah, So because it looks like you're doing it backwards, you know, like you're putting it on the wrong side, but you're put well, yeah. So it's going to go like that. Okay. Just line that up. And if these things are remotely touching, that means you need to cut down these sides. That's right. Yeah. Looks pretty good to me, but who knows? We'll only know when it's we start to move it. <laughs> Do you want olive paper? Do I want what? Yeah, I like olive paper. Do you want some? Sure. You're missing it. Yeah. It's hollow. Yeah. You want me to get you some? Yeah. Well, how much? Is that the real stuff or the fake stuff? Or the bad stuff? I don't stuff? know. Suzanne started all this. Oh. I only want her oopsie stuff. Okay. So, yeah. You're down. You're down. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with regular stuff. I can do regular. I like her oopsie. Baby, you making a cake? Oh, crap. Well, then that's the best time to make it. That's the best time to make it. When? She's hungry? No, she's she had, when I went in there to fix my dinner plate, she had ev everything out to make an orange juice cake. Mmm. A decadent orange juice cake. I don't even know half the time what you guys are talking about, but I just know it's southern desserts and southern cooking and stuff that I've never heard of, but it always sounds good. Yeah. That's all I know. It always sounds good. That's right, and I got the butt to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I watched these people on YouTube the other day and they went and did the where you where you go to McDonald's and order the secret menu. Secret menu? Yeah, I didn't know nothing about no secret menu either. Okay. 
But they ordered this one sandwich and it had a fish filet on it, a McChicken, and a cheeseburger on it. Then they ordered a um, a bacon quarter pounder with a chocolate chip cookie in between the two pieces of meat, which that didn't sound good. No. And then a Big Mac with 10 pieces of meat on it. What? I was like, what? Why? <laughs> don't know. I mean, that doesn't even sound good. No, it don't. <sighs> Tornado warning. And you guys? Well, a little bit south of here. Those look like little sailboats. Christopher Cross. Christopher Cross? Mm-hmm. Was good for me? Was good for you? No. Oh. Sailing. Sailing takes me away. No, that's just, you can go order that secret stuff. Secret menu stuff. Well, you know, I went down to the Kentucky Fried Chicken one time and got to go food and got Betty chicken and donut sandwich <laughs> or something. Yuck. I know, right? It was like fried chicken laid on a hot glazed donut or something. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. There's just some things I could do without. Oh. They must have Snoop Dogg helping with their menu because they have like a Cheeto chicken sandwich and. <laughs> yeah. No, that's his friend doing all that. Debbie, it was an actual glazed donut. With I have to trim this one down, you guys. Fried chicken. Oh, I love fried pickles, Barbara. Oh, my God. Dipped in ranch. Yes. Fried what? Fried pickles. Oh, gosh. You know, it's like those little dill chips. Those pickles that you put on your hamburgers. Uh. But they deep fry them, and then you dip them in ranch dressing. Yeah, they're good. Fried gator's good, too. It tastes like white meat chicken. Everything tastes like chicken. Yes, it does, except squirrel. Yeah, diabetes in a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, see, Debbie's Texas girl. She knows both of those are good. I don't know about deep fried chunk of any man. Fried green tomatoes are good. Yep. Dipped in ranch. Might just be. I need a, something to put my ranch on. <laughs> I think that's what it is. <laughs> you could just get a sock. <laughs> well, any man's talking about shit eat a shoe if it's deep fried. <laughs> Okay, so these need to dry. I can't be messing with these because they're going to, you know, because the cardboard's heavy and it could move them down and then I'm really in trouble. So. Oh, fried squash. I'm going to put these over here. So does it work? What work? Your book worked. It was fine. You know, no, I don't know. I just said I can't move it until it's dry or I'll ruin it. So I can't yeah. test it. 
then why did you say you have to hurry up and glue it to make sure it works? Because if I don't glue it, I won't know if it works. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So based on what we did, do, we, do you have any questions about how it, how it goes together so far? Hang on, Jean's wiping the glue off her fingers. Okay. Lisa said she loves it, Rosemary. Thank you. Oops. All Jean right. said hers didn't work. What? Can you share your work, Jean? What didn't work? It wasn't able to close. You weren't able to open it. What didn't work? We must fix it together. <clears throat> oh, fried squash, potatoes, and onions. Yummy. Ooh. What happened, Jane? Uh, Jean? Ah. <laughs> Man, that coffee smells good. <clears throat> what are you drinking tonight? Nothing? I have some root beer. Okay. The roof not lining up. We'll have to recut it. The roof is not lining up. Well, it's never going to line up perfectly. Let me show you the example of this one, which I modified it, so it should work a little bit better. But um, it's just the nature of the beast. Like, for instance, this one, which is why I changed it. See, they're not going to line up perfect, even though the other one now is pointy. See, they're not going to, it's just not going to happen. You know, but the ones you're working with, I, I adjusted it and I got them pointy. For them to meet up and i made two of them that way and it worked so but if you're unless you did it completely wrong it should work <laughs> but it may not be perfect so don't don't try to you know don't try to make it perfect it's not gonna it's never gonna be perfect but as long as these don't hit each other and they you know they can move you're okay. The triangles. Right. She's talking about the roof. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that. That's what she said. The roof is not lining up. We'll have to yeah. cut it. Kathy wants some of your root beer. <laughs> he said she went to get some at the store today and she got sticker shock in the grocery store. Uh oh. Yeah, anything that is being moved by tractor trailer these days is going up. That's for sure. Sticker yeah. shock. I'm sorry, but it's probably very expensive to transport your gas from China to here. <laughs> All right. So, what should we do? Because I have to let that dry now. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, it's not dry yet. Not dry yet. What are you going to use to tie the top shut? Oh, um, she, said, she said they're hitting, so she'll have to trim them. So you don't have to redo them. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that hey, makes... Linda. Okay. We've been asking about you all night long. <laughs> She's here. We have to stop talking about her now. Yep. Got to stop talking about her. Okay. I'm trying to think of what else to do. Maybe I can make do some of these that will go inside somewhere. 
So are you going to tie the pointed roof shut? Um, yeah, you can tie them shut. Um, you can put a little, you know, a little um, piece of gum, a little hole and put a string in there to tie them together. You can put little pieces, little Velcro, those little small little pieces in there to just keep it shut. Um, gum. So, <laughs> um, some of you had said you're going to have it just up on your, you know, up on your desk like this anyway. And so this bottom would just be part of the decoration, you know, to cover up stuff inside. You know, everyone's going to use it differently, I'm sure. Now, another way to make this, which I'm not going to do this tonight. Another way to make this, which gives it a whole different, um, a whole different look, is if you have a square bottom, you get a, a square. Hey. <laughs> let me see. Let me find something to do it with. Okay. So, see if you follow this. And I know you ladies that have been working with paper forever, you know the name of what this gizmo is. So, shout it out. First one to know. Um, there's a name for it. I just don't know what it is. I did not come up with this idea. But I thought it would translate kind of cool with with this okay so you have a square and you've covered it up with paper and everything and with the hinges that we've been playing with you're going to hinge you're going to hinge it here and here and then it's just going to lift up you know you're going to do the roof and everything and tie that somehow and then when you untie that then everything just opens up what is that called there's a name for this Susan doesn't know, or she would have said it already. <laughs> I'm reading the chat. Oh, well, excuse me for interrupting. <laughs> it's called. Um, it's a something, something box, right? An exploding box? Yeah, an explosion box. That's what Jan said. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is. So you could make, you could make an exploding box with all the components that you have for that. And I think it would look pretty cool. Another thing you can do with the pieces parts, you could make, um, is that like the one that the butterflies fly out of? I don't know about that. Okay. Snakes in a can. I don't know that either. <laughs> you could put one in there. <laughs> think you're scared of clowns watch this poof <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh any man says oh i made one of those you have to be very precise with the measurements otherwise it's more like a whimpering box <laughs> well you'll have a whimpering tent that's okay no problem <laughs> I didn't paint anymore. I should have painted some more of these. I didn't have any time today to do that. I didn't have time to play with that stuff. So let's see. Am I going to decorate the inside or if I'm just going to get a little book and put them in there? What am I going to do? You got to have a journal in them. No, but I don't know if I'm going to um, have it permanently in there. If I'm going to have little pockets to put the little journal in, I'm trying to think of, you know, to do it different than what this is. So we have a little variety of choice of, you know, how to put your journal in there. We well, need to have little hooks for them to hang their robes on. So when they go to get in the water, they'll have somewhere to hang their robe. <laughs> their bathrobe. The bathrobe. You hear that, Kathy? That's root beer. Let's see how dry this is. Should be dry enough. Whoa! See that stuck? 
got to be careful. Put too much glue then. And did you use fabric tack or dollar tack? Fabric tack okay. on this. Because it gets a lot of movement. Obviously, you know, the, flip, the flippy floppy of it all. Whoa. How do you have enough hands to know that they don't meet? Oh, you'll know. I'll well, know right know. now if mine meet or not. not I won't know. I might, be, I might be there with the, the jean party. You're out of frame, so I'll never know. Hello. I'm looking. I'm trying to do it, but not mess it up. Okay, mine isn't meeting up either because I didn't trim it enough either. So, so I think Jean did it right. She did it right. She did um, it wrong. She did it right the wrong. Yeah, exactly. Because, oh, I see. I see where it's doing it. The only thing we have to trim, Jean, is right here. This right here. That's what's hanging it up. So you need to round that off a little bit. And it'll work. That's what's stopping it from, from laying right. That's kind of weird. I made it two times and it worked. What did I, I must have like transposed the pattern incorrectly or something. Because I already tried this. Okay. I don't want to cut it right now because it's still a little bit wet. I'm afraid when I cut it with the scissors because it's cardboard. It, you know, it'll flip it up and it'll undo it or tear it or something. So I have to wait on that. Oh, she said, yes, I see. Yeah, you see right in that little section right here? That's where it's, that's where it's hitting each other. Right there. Yep. It has to dry. Huh? It has to dry. So Shanta said, have you done a kit that's like your travel journals made out of file folders? I watched one of your flip throughs of that and it was so pretty. I think that's next month, isn't it? Yeah, we're doing a travel one, but I'm not sure which one she's referring to. We haven't done one as a kit. No, no travel kits. Yeah, we haven't done one as a kit. But I'm trying to remember my travel journal that I made because that was like one of my first journals. Is that the one that has like Tim Holtz paper in it? Um, I'm trying to remember which one it is. Okay, so I'm going to take this pattern. It was a commission with the brocade cover. Okay, yeah, that's it. I know exactly which one you mean. Okay, so if we. I'm guessing this needs to go just so you guys see it before you get all frustrated. That needs to be, ooh, you can't see it. Anyway, it's this little section right here that needs to be shaved off and given a little bit of a roundness to it. Can you see that? On all of them? Yeah. Yeah, so just... Get your original pattern and cut out the pattern or you can do it on your pattern, whatever you want to do. And where that angle is, soften it. Soften that angle. On both sides, on all of them. And that should work. Try it, Jean. Let us know. <laughs> Yours is probably dry. You've been waiting for, what, a whole day? <laughs> Just about. <laughs> All right, Kathy, get some rest. Good night, uh, Kathy. Shanta said it was the base she wanted to learn how to do. The uh, base? said... 
Mm. One month, you should just put a bunch of stuff together and let everyone come up with their own design. No video showing what to do. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. So then... I'd get zero sales. <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do with it. Oh, no. It just said on the TV, FDA issues warnings about eating cicadas. <laughs> I'm doomed. I'm doomed. I'll have a plate of cicadas on the half shell, please. Although, I saw. Uh, was it on YouTube or something? There's crazy people that are eating them. She said, of the traveler's notebook, how the floppy floppy folder thing worked oh you know i'm gonna tell you like i tell everybody uh -oh. i don't remember <laughs> it's been a while i would have i don't even remember what it looks like i know i made it i know the theme i know the lady that asked me to do it i don't even remember what it looks like let alone how i did it so i'd have to go back and watch that video that's right. Nicole said, then submit pictures of what we all did. That would be fun. Debbie said, the construction of the journal. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to go back and, and watch that. Travelers notebook, how the floppy floppy folder thing worked. If you're talking about the floppy floppy folder thing, Majigger, um, we did that with the industrial kit. I'm thinking it's the same thing I did. I have to go back and double check. I don't oh, honestly yeah. don't remember. But we did that with the industrial kit. And there's a video. And there's a video with many hours to watch. <laughs> And um, what else did I do that with? As far as kits, I think that's the only one that we did like that. I do like that basic um, that basic shape. Actually, that black and white thing is that, but it's just not covered with fabric. Where is that black and white thing? It's the same principle, but it's just, I just didn't elaborate on it. Hold on. Let me show you. Because that is the guts of it. Yeah. Nicole said oh, yeah. it was an accordion fold. Yeah. It's all starting to come back to me. Hold on. Three more layouts and you have finished another complete journal. Nice. Only journal I ever finished is the one that Johnny made me make live with her. Okay, so the basic principle is this. This is the guts of it. Just imagine if the fabric was, you know, over on top of it. And that's what makes it. But this is the guts. It's just the finishing of it is what makes it what it is. So this is a file folder. Oopsie. This is a file folder. And just depending on what size you want it, if you're going to have a regular size piece of paper or if you want, you know, some traveler notebook inserts that are already made to fit in, then that'll determine how um, much you fold this up and over. To create the pockets and that'll leave you with the dimensions that you want for your actual journal to be and you fold it in you fold it in you fold it back and that's it and all the rest is the decorating and the fabric and everything out but that this is the fabrication of it But if you want further details, go watch the industrial one. That's the same thing, just all made fancy with, you know, industrial type stuff. Right, Susan? That's I'm right. right. Okay. I was want to make sure I'm thinking right. Yeah. Because I was just looking at that and I did make the folder for that. 
<laughs> yeah, poor Deb. She's got to get used to teaching school the old-fashioned way now. Then I'd be thinking it's time to retire. <laughs> yeah. Lots of things to recover from. All right, so that's what I'm going to have to do. I but I I don't want to be um, cutting on this until um, it's totally dry and it's still damp because I don't want to undo things. Yeah, it's still damp. Okay, so then after that, after you've done all that, then you get to decide how you're going to decorate the inside. If you're going to put a journal in, like I did. And this is what I did with this one. This is a traveler's notebook size, right? And what I did is I, I got my uh, <coughs> my signature. How many pages did I put here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this little one, nine. I put nine in mine. And then I got a piece of this and cut it the length and sewed the signature into this and then glued that fabric down. That's Good night, Elaine. Good night. So that's what this is right here is the fabric that I sewed the signature into. And that's what makes it secure. You can see the stitches right here. And then I just put this to keep it closed. And I did that with both ones the same way. It was sewed into this fabric and then glued down. And that's it. I just did this, this, and that's it. <laughs> well, all you guys know how to do is, you know, plain pamphlet stitch. And you know how to glue. We'll do it together, but I'm just saying, if you want to move ahead, you know, between now and the next time we get together, that's all you have to do. Sew it onto a strip of fabric. Get some glue here and here. Put it down. Your signature's in. Well, that way. <laughs> Your signature is in there. Or you could put pockets in here and then just put and just put your signature in the pocket. That look cute too. I do believe. What else? What else? I don't know what else to tell you guys until this is dry. <laughs> Questions? Questions? Let me see. They look kind of happy. They're all see. tucking Elaine in. Okay. How about, how would these look here? Because we've got this colorful stuff, that might look cute here. Don't you have to put like numbers or lead or, or words under those little flaps so... You know those things you had in school? I had things in those, school. Those little things you made out of paper and you would you would tell them, okay, pick a number, pick a number. Okay, and you lift it up and you read it and then you had to open that thing. You know the little paper things you put your fingers in and you never mind. <laughs> I don't know what they called those. I don't either. What was the purpose of them? 
I don't know. It was like it was like this little origami thing you put your fingers in and and it was closed and you had to pick something from the four sides and then if it was four then you would go one two three four you would open it four different ways and you go okay. oh i think i know what you mean a coot oh that's right because i said a it wrong cootie catcher. A cootie catcher that's why i screwed up uh, yes hey singing in the rain i forgot about those how do you make them and it is an origami yeah yeah, oh, please don't show me how to do it. Don't look it up again. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> We're not doing that again. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> that was way too nerve-wracking. That was one me. in a million. <laughs> okay. I didn't know they were called cootie catchers. but Yeah, as soon as he said that, I go, oh, I know what she's talking about. I know what she's talking about. Yeah, exactly. Much easier than the last origami project. Anything would be. <laughs> okay, now do that 32 times. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, then why well you... what's cracking me up is it was these intense directions and then after a half hour of these intense directions all that person was trying to accomplish was to get equal parts you could have folded and just folded and or just measured you know an inch all the way across and then folded it but no it was like i thought we were going to the moon or something <laughs> it was crazy lisa said you need to put some kind of a mirror in the inside rosemary a mirror well, yeah, because you know how when you get out of the water and you got that mascara under your eye before the little. Not in those days. Women didn't even wear makeup. Oh, bull crap. <laughs> Especially not to the beach. Uh, did not come out of that little rickshaw tent until they were presentable looking for their men. Not until every bit of skin was covered. Right. And only the hoochie mamas had the makeup. Why well, gotta be a hoochie mama? Because it was in those days. Ladies didn't wear it. It was the theatrical people that wore it. Only the hoochie mamas need cootie catchers. <laughs> <laughs> they probably used soot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This one, Lisa said, this one is circus. You need those crazy mirrors. Good night, Geneva. Thanks for coming. Except this one isn't circus. I covered up the circus. This is Coney Island. Oh. Yeah. They are catching cooties, Nicole. <laughs> you can't have no no awnings on that. Yeah, it could be a reverse. You can fold it the other way. And the girls are inside. Oh, but then that thing won't close like that. Never mind. Can't do it that way. I just got to keep it simple. Yeah. And that's a good idea. Those little posters inside. And so we could have some of that. And then have... <clears throat> Because this all inside, when you're changing, could be advertising to go out and eat and and participate with the with the Coney people. <laughs> the Coney people. <laughs> the Coneyites. <laughs> you know, you know who they are.
That's right, because Elizabeth Taylor did, Lucy. She said she thinks women have been wearing makeup since the early Egyptians. Yeah. Even not, not the Pharaoh. Peasant, not the peasant people, though. Even you Pharaoh. He wore mask, um, eyeliner. But this is people with money, just like any other society. It isn't like the common people got to do this stuff. You got a Ferris wheel on the on the roof. The roof. Right? Yep. Yep. On the roof. Got a Ferris wheel. Got a magician. A magician with clown feet. And yep. it's got a clown with a with a tent head mm -hmm. and an elephant. Mm -hmm. 25 cent prize every time or 25 cents and you win a prize every time every time every time Not just once in a while. Every time. Whoops. Let's see. Who else? Who else can we put there? Ooh, the butterfly lady. Where's the butterfly lady? Hmm? Oh, is that what you're cutting? The butterfly lady? Mm -hmm. The butterfly lady. Oh. Let's see what other ones. I'll cut some other ones and see which ones we like best. Have a good night, Nicole. Good night. Plain. Okay, here's another butterfly lady. This could be just like, you know, billboards like. She looks more like a fairy. A fairy? Yeah. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we have a tra trapeze artist. You need to have Charlie Chaplin up in there. <laughs> Groucho Marx. This Marco. is before their time. Huh? This is before their time. This is the turn of the century. Oh. Well, then put Marcel Marceau in there. He's even later. Oh, well, see, I don't know my history. I was talking too much in class. I don't remember. <laughs> you should. You read it. I know. Oh, no. Kathy's been gone all this time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't even know she was back. I mean, she was gone. I, I thought she was busy doing stuff. She slipped out. Oh, okay. We got them, too. They're acrobats. But do you want it that big to take up all your wall space? Hey. And you don't want those men staring at the ladies inside the dressing bathhouse. Maybe the guys, maybe the women do. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> we don't 
know. You have them wearing makeup like Hoochie Mamas, so what do I know? You gotta have them looking good. Okay, how about some advertisement? There you go. It's too big though. Exactly, Kathy. I always get in trouble for talking. Put the little copper tone girl with the dog pulling her bridges down. You need to get in touch with your history. I know. That's what I think of when I think of the beach. That one looks cute in there. Advertising the ladies. And there's a gentleman there, but he's looking down. He's looking into the water. So, no funny business there. All right. I don't think we want him. <laughs> no, he's a clown. We don't want creepy clowns. Well, Elaine went to bed, so... I don't want creepy clowns. Well, that butterfly lady's pretty creepy. No, she's not. You don't understand the definition of creepy. I think you've lost touch with... The real creep factor. <laughs> oh, yeah. And saltwater taffy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and a Man, I can't taffy. remember the last time I had that. I think I was a little kid last time I had that. Yeah, you need to have like a little Coney Island food menu up in there. Mm hmm. I think hot, that's hot dogs a penny. I think um, after, yeah, I think, I don't think I had any after that. I think it was after the shock of that, um, of that, um, what did he say he was? He who? Sheik somebody. I forget his name. He asked my parents if I was for sale. What? Yeah. After that, I couldn't have any salt water toffee. Taffy. Maybe that's why I don't like the circus and I don't like any of this stuff. It reminds me of that. Hmm. I need to get behind the psychology of this. Hmm. See, there's reasons behind everything. That's why psychiatrists make so much money. Whatever. They just browbeat you about how do you feel about your mother until you just like, damn, <laughs> dude, I hate her, okay? Damn, leave me alone. <laughs> Is that what you want to hear? <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> there you go, a creepy Halloween. T She's not going to make nothing creepy. No, I'm not. I'm not. No. You guys can. Oh, this could be like the mirror. You're looking in the mirror. That's what you're seeing yourself changing. So I have to decide when I put these down, do I want, am I going to do it just like plain or am I going to do it with the little um, black trim around it, putting it on the, um, uh, that's a lot of work. No, you just sit it on top of a piece of black card cardstock. Oh, that's all. Okay. Yeah, that's all I did. It would stand out. Yeah, I think it would look a lot better. It looked finished. I like things to look like they're done. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, where, 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 where? Oh, yeah, a gypsy, a gypsy tent journal. That would be cool. Yeah. So you know, you got the pattern. You know how to do it. You, you got the um the basics of how it can be done. Oh, my eyes watering again. They the want to buy her niece on a safari in Africa. Who did? He said when my niece. And her mom and dad went on safari in Africa. Some of the tribe members wanted to buy her. Yeah. Yep, I believe it. Yep. I'm just glad they asked when I was in America. <laughs> It's a little harder sometimes to get away with saying no in, in their country. Debbie said, say no, I was only being polite. You're coming anyway. <laughs> Debbie said you could mount the pictures on same colors as diamond pattern colors. Oh, I don't think I have those colors, actually. Oh, maybe my paper pack that I bought. Hello. Hello. My dollar pack. I don't even know what you're talking about. Trade Amy would trade pa your paper for hers. Is that your paper pack? Yep. Yep. Is that glitter paper? Yeah, some of them had some. That's very circusy, huh? Yes. Um, one of the boils I did when I did the book, I threw one of those in there and it kind of floated around into the other colors, which wasn't a bad thing. Ooh, this blue looks pretty against that red. I like that. Whoops. Whoopsie. Whoops. And that matches one of the triangles or one of the diamonds. Mm-hmm. I only have that one little piece of that. It's really thick. That's thick, too. Got that green, but it's the wrong color of green. Plus, it's really thick and it's embossed. And well, maybe this paper wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Same color as that one. Then I got blue. That's, hmm, I guess I could use blue. I don't know. But red on red, that's not going to work. Well, I just don't have the right colors in this pack. Maybe the other pack has better variety. We might kind of all be the same, though. But we can double check and find out. It doesn't hurt to look. If they're from the same lot, they might be. Well, this is a different color, but it doesn't go. Oh, that's more black. There's that green. White. Dusty rose. White. Woo! Pink. Pink. No, I don't think there's any colors that come with it. And a big mm -mm. So I'm going to have to think about that. Ooh, sparkly stuff all over the place. Mm -hmm. 
Why so much, mm -hmm. Annie Mae? Hmm? Huh? She was saying if you're doing cost calculations, seems like those pieces of paper come out to about three twenty five each. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. I still have to do that. Man. That's right. That's a different journal. <sighs> yeah. This is true. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to think about this. I, You know, the colors, I don't think I have colors that will look too cool behind that unless I use all of the turquoise ones. Because the turquoise one does look pretty cool. But that's about the only color that I think halfway would look cool against the red. Because it's so contrasting. I do like that. So you never know. That might be the thing I do. <laughs> you just never know. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. But anyway, I can't do that. So that's all completely dry because I really don't want to mess up, you know, my situation. Once you do it, you'll realize, make sure you let this completely dry so that they don't lift because they are kind of heavy on those hinges. Let me out of the way. All right, then. If you don't have any questions, I think we're going to be done early tonight. There's nothing else for me to do on that until I go on the hunt. I might be able to hunt for some other colored papers maybe that I have, but just that are here obvious. I don't, but I'll, I might have some other papers that I'm forgetting about. And they might go ding, 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 ding. We're over here. We're over here. Oh, okay. We can or do that. Or you could just um, paint some white cardstock. Oh, that's too much trouble. Well, okay then. <laughs> Goofy. <laughs> yeah, that's what Deb says. Ink the edges. Yeah, I guess I could. That's right. Debbie's going to pull out that alcohol ink every chance she gets. Oh, man. She does good stuff with that, too. Yes, yeah, she does. Oh, yeah. I like how it looks. Okay, so. Woo! I guess I've just, I've done too many things today to be adventurous, I think. I told Susan when, when I first started, I was already tired. <laughs> I go, I don't know why. I'm so tired today. I guess that's why I'm not thinking of, uh, whoops, creative ideas. Because my brain, my brain is tired. And I don't know why. I didn't do anything extraordinary um, at all. But it is tired today. I didn't even do like a Mary thing, like get up too early or go to bed too late. I, I don't everything. think she did either. <laughs> I did everything pretty normal for me anyway. It was all pretty normal. The only excitement was, you know, the alley adventure. That was about it. <laughs> that was the extent of the of the adventures today. <laughs> the alley. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. Look, another one. Another. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's what I say. Get out of here. Okay, I'll save. Good night, Barbara. I'll save some of those. That's about um, Lisa said she asked you on one of your videos if your brain ever hurt. It doesn't. No, my brain never hurts, but it does get tired. Well, yeah, it does. Get, my, my brain does get tired. Because sometimes my body's tired, but my brain isn't. But for some reason today, my brain is a little more tired than my body. <laughs> oh, I don't know why. Okay, Susan, you're going to get off 15 minutes early. Yay. Yeah, I know you're happy about that. I know. I've only been up 18 hours. There you go. Man, a lie. 
I keep I keep hoping when I wake up in the morning it'll be Saturday. Real soon. Real soon. You can just get to Friday. <laughs> um any handbills that can go behind the pictures. Um uh, I don't know. I don't have any. I can look. But I don't have none. Maybe the alley people were looking for the drug guy. Well, he's across the street. She kicked him out. I know she kicked him out, but he was across the street. Yeah. Maybe they didn't know he got kicked out. Oh, did you hear what Lucy said? Did you read what Lucy said? I'm, I'm not old enough. <laughs> Well, if you got a GoFundMe, you could. <laughs> a GoFundMe with with Trump <laughs> contributing a little pocket change there. A GoFundMe, black and white, black and white checkers for what? Black and white check. I guess. Oh, black and white check. Black and white check. Oh, you mean for behind? Mm. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go looking. I have to get inspired. Maybe if my once my brain rests, maybe I'll be inspired. But right now, I'm totally uninspired of what to do with that. That's right. But you don't have to rush it. No. 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 <laughs> All right. Say good night, Susan. Go enjoy anything that was made for you that you haven't eaten yet. I ate it all. Oh, you already ate it all? Yeah. Oh, she puts the cake God. off till tomorrow. Oh, man. What kind of fun is that? Oh, well. Okay. Say good night, Susan. Good night, Susan. <laughs> good night, everybody. Y'all around. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. Good night. Good night.